<laughs> it's just water. Good evening. I am so proud to welcome everyone joining us online to the Outstanding Alumni of the Year and Finest Under 40 Award Ceremony. This distinguished event usually kicks off our many exciting homecoming weekend activities. However, in consideration of the safety and well being of all, some of our signature events have changed to hybrid and virtual formats, and others have been postponed until spring. Regardless, our campus remains vibrant with RAM spirit. Tonight, I am delighted to honor our outstanding alumna of the year, Susan Menser Blair, and our finest under 40 honorees, Mary Beth Group, Tiffany Lawrence, Matthew Long, Hannah Williams McNamee, Jessica Salfia, and Kevin Pollack. Unfortunately, this year we are unable to gather in large groups and therefore could not include our previous Outstanding Alumni of the Year and finest under 40 recipients, but we look forward to having everyone with us again in future years. Please remember, Shepherd students succeed, and this is quite evident as we celebrate this year's distinguished alumni. Now I would like to invite Mayor Jim Oxer, President of the Alumni Association, to join us. Mayor Oxer. Good evening. The Outstanding Alumni of the Year Award is an opportunity to recognize a Shepherd University graduate for their dedication and volunteer commitments that have significantly enhanced the goals and mission of Shepherd University and the Shepherd University Alumni Association. The award recipients will have given of themselves for the enrichment of the university and of the community. Unfortunately, this evening, we were unable to invite back previous recipients this year. However, two are present, myself and President Hendricks. Tonight, on behalf of the Alumni Association, we are honored to present Susan Mentzer Blair, Class of 72, with this year's Outstanding Alumna of the Year Award. In addition to being an active alumna, she is a beloved educator, a generalist philanthropist, and a dedicated volunteer in her local community of Brunswick, Maryland. She graduated from Shepherd College with a BA in language arts. She enjoyed a long and fulfilling career as a guidance counselor at Middletown High School in Middletown, Maryland. Now retired, she dedicates much of her time to volunteering for the downtown revitalization program known as Brunswick Main Street, as well as the Brunswick Heritage Museum and other local businesses and events. During her time at Shepherd, Sue worked for the college yearbook that ha Kahanga Ruta and was a member of Sigma Sigma Sigma. As an active alumna, she continues to support the sorority by volunteering at events. Sue is also a founding member of the Women Investing in Shepherd, WISH, and maintains memberships in several campus organizations, including the Joseph P. McMurrin Society, the Shepherd University Alumni Association, the President's Club, Scarborough Society, and the Ram Gridiron Club. She served on the Shepherd University Foundation Board of Directors for many years and was named a Director Emeritus in 2016. As a director, Sue is actively, 
actively engaged with the foundation by generously donating her time, talent, and treasure. Over the years, she and her husband, Bill, have made gifts to support Shepherd's first comprehensive campaign, the Shepherd University Student Relief Fund and the Paul Saab Memorial Lab, among other philanthropic endeavors. In 2017, Sue and Bill created the Mentzer Award for Inspirational Teaching, MAIT, an annual award honoring a full-time professor recognized by the Shepherd students for having a profound effect on their education. The award was inspired by Sue's late brother, Dr. John Thomas Tom Menser, who received a similar accolade from his PhD candidate students at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. Sue Menser Blair clearly represents the best of our Shepherd alumni. She was unable to join us for the Zoom call this evening. She has recorded her speech for the Founders Day video available tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Please visit the Shepherd University YouTube channel to watch the Founders Day video. We would like to thank the award recipients for their continued dedication to Shepherd and the representation of what our students can and do. We would also like to thank everyone who supported this wonderful group of alumni by tuning in live. And again, to reiterate, Shepherd students succeed. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Uh, tonight, we would also like to honor our third class of finest under 40, young alumni who are leading the way in business, research, leadership, community, artistic, educational, and philanthropic endeavors. These honorees uphold the core values of Shepherd University in excellence, innovation, and opportunity, and demonstrate a commitment to maintaining a lifelong relationship with Shepherd University. I will now present our finest under 40 awardees. First up, we have Mary Beth Group. Mary Beth is a 2003 Shepherd College graduate. Wanting to give back and create change in her community of Jefferson County, she majored in secondary education with a concentration in mathematics. She earned a teaching job upon graduation within the county, but did not stop there. As she challenged students in the classroom, she also encouraged students on the court as a coach and athletic director. Still striving for more, she continued her education to become an administrator. She is currently an administrator at Jefferson High School from which she graduated. In addition, Mary Beth also continues to see the importance of giving back and staying connected with her Shepherd community. After all, she went to preschool at Shepherd, worked at the Shepherd Dining Hall while in high school, played softball at Shepherd and graduated. She even married another Shepherd alumnus and has two amazing children who are proudly support, who proudly sport their Shepherd spirit wear. Blue and gold runs through her blood. Mary Beth has volunteered with the Shepherd University Sports Information Director, served as an Athletic Hall, Hall of Fame board member, and is a Shepherd University Athletic Club board member. Community, family, and honor are not just words to her, they are the definition of goals that define her life. Please join me in congratulating Mary Beth. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate this honor. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Beth. Next, we have Tiffany Lawrence. Tiffany is a native of Shepherdstown. She received her Bachelor of Science degree in Political Science and Business Administration, class of 2004, and also holds a master's of business administration degree from Shenandoah University and a doctorate in executive leadership from the University of Charleston. She is currently a senior account executive for Orion Strategies and is the former vice president of membership and development at the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. 
He previously served as the Director of Resource Development and Marketing for United Way of the Eastern Panhandle, as well as the Marketing and Public Relations Manager for Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races. Tiffany served three terms as a state delegate in the West Virginia House of Delegates, representing Jefferson County's 65th District from 2008 to 2014. During her tenure, she was the Assistant Majority Whip and the Chairman of the Committee of Politi on Political Subdivisions. She held the coveted title of Miss West Virginia in 2006 and represented the Mountain State at the Miss America competition in January of 2007. During her year of service, she traveled over 50,000 miles while speaking to over 40,000 school children, civic, civic organizations, and businesses while bringing attention to mental health issues and creating awareness about the power of positive self-esteem. She has received numerous awards for her work in public and nonprofit service, including Shepherd University's Eikenberry Award for Distinguished Human Service, the State Journal's 40 Under 40 Award, and was named a West Virginia Wonder Woman. Please join me in congratulating Tiffany. Tiffany, you're muted. Thank you all so much. Dr. Hendricks, Mayor, it's a privilege to be here tonight and congratulations to my fellow recipients. It's an honor. Thank you, Tiffany. Next, we have Matthew Long. Matt is a 2007 graduate with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in graphic design. As a sophomore, his designs were selected to brand the Potomac Arts Festival at the National Conservation Training Center in Shepherdstown. And in his junior and senior years, he acted as the American Institute of Graphic Arts Blue Ridge Chapter's student president. Upon graduation, he was selected to receive the AIGA Student Scholarship Award. He later returned as the AIGA alumni representative. He worked with Shepherd's Design Department to help found the nationally recognized design competition Flux. He also had the pleasure of assisting with the design of the National Park Service's annual report in Harpers Ferry. Utilizing his screen printing knowledge, Matt was able to print t-shirts for various businesses and Shepherd University organizations. Matt is a multimedia multimedia artist and outdoor enthusiast currently living in Frederick, Maryland, where he works as a graphic designer. Throughout the day, he contributes his creative efforts to marketing, business development, digital media design, photography, and apparel production. Throughout the night, his heart and artistic sensibility are never far from the ocean and his more personal creative pursuits, which have included collaborations with small businesses and charitable fundraising efforts or a handful of nonprofit organizations. He has been very active in his local communities. Matt's unique and ever evolving art and design has taken on an interesting role as a recognizable iconic style. His vibrant work has acted as a branding, advertising and philanthropic platform for multiple companies, events and organizations, both nationally and internationally. Matt was named the official artist of the 2020 National Cherry Blossom Festival an incredibly prestigious honor. One artist throughout the United States is selected each year to have their work grace our nation's capital during the spring across various pieces of merchandise, print collateral, and events. In 2019, he painted the official art car for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. In 2018, Matt's work was selected to grace the Sheets Incorporated truck fleet via the Sheets Fleet Art Project. In 2014, Matt was awarded the title of the official poster artist for Western Maryland Blues Festival. He was selected to sell work at the John Mayer Winter Tour in 2013 and was named the Downtown Frederick, Maryland Holiday Art Contestant Contest Barbara McGann People's Choice Award winner of 2013. He was also selected as the official artist for the Surf Aid Cup Malibu, California Surf Contest. Matt is a longtime supporter of the American Institute of Graphic Arts, Community Food Bank of New Jersey, Hartley House, Hurwitz Breast Cancer Fund, Hope of Life International, and Surf Rider Foundation. Please join me in congratulating Matt. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks. Pleasure to be here tonight. Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> Next, we have Hannah Williams McNamee. 
Hannah is a 2011 graduate from Shepherd University with a degree in English. She currently works in Shepherd's Office of Student Success as a success coach. Hannah has a devotion to education, service innovation, and leadership. She embodies Shepherd's mission. During her time at Shepherd, she was unanimously voted as outstanding English major. From there, she earned a Master of Arts degree at American University. She returned to Shepherd to teach first year composition for several years, willing to go the extra mile and encourage and support her students while holding them to high standards and believing they had the potential to succeed. Her current specific duties involve Shepherd Success Academy, a program that works with first year students who are particularly at risk of failing at college. As a success coach, through weekly meeting and specifically tailored instruction and mentoring. She helps these vulnerable students understand what success means for them and how, using the resources Shepherd provides, they can achieve it. Coaches serve as constant connection between students and the campus, and their top priority is providing the tools students need to feel empowered during their time at Shepherd and beyond. Hannah has excelled in this position, earning the respect of everyone she encounters on campus. Hannah interacts with every office from financial aid to residence life to athletics, building solid relationships along the way. Beyond Shepherd's campus, Hannah has played a key role in writing grants that have brought $90,000 to programs in the past year alone. Hannah shows up and she is relentless. When the pandemic made it po impossible for her to see students in person and the entire campus shifted to distance learning, she managed to keep her students on track and connected during one of the greater challenges higher education has ever faced. Please join me in congratulating Hannah. I'm so grateful for the Shepherd community and thank you so much for this honor. Thank you, Hannah. Next up, we have Jessica Salfia. Jessica is a 2012 graduate of Shepherd University with a master's degree in cur curriculum and instruction. She is an English teacher in Berkeley County Schools at Spring Mills High School, where she teaches advanced placement language and composition and creative writing and advises the Diversity Club and Literary and Art Magazine. Jessica is the co-director and executive vice president of WVCTE and a teacher, writer, and activist. Her writing has appeared in the Charleston Gazette Mail, West Virginia Living Magazine's blog, the WVCTE Best Practices blog, and multiple volumes of the Anthology of Appalachian Writers. She was the winner of the 2016 West Virginia Fiction Competition and recently had her poem, Rootbound, selected for the 2018-2019 Women of Appalachia Project. She is the co-editor of the book, 55 Strong, Inside the West Virginia Teacher Strike. In 2019, Jessica also wrote a com commentary piece for 100daysinappalachia.com about the West Virginia teacher strike titled, West Virginia Teacher. We went on strike to fight retaliation, not reform. Along with fellow teacher Cara, Carla Hillard, she has revitalized the West Virginia chapter of the National Council of Teachers of English. Recently, during the COVID-19 global pandemic, Jessica wrote a poem entitled, The First Lines of Emails I've Received While Quarantining that went viral on Twitter and was picked up for stories and publications such as The Guardian and The Washington Post, as well as radio stations like CBC Radio and West Virginia Public Radio. Jessica has won awards for her excellence in teaching. She, has, she was honored three years in a row as a West Virginia Governor's Honor Academy Outstanding Educator. She was also the 2016 Berkeley County Teacher of the Year and in April 2016 received the Stephen L. Fisher Award for Excellence in Teaching. Her use of the books of Shepherd's Appalachian Heritage Writers and Re Residents improved her students' success in their coursework, leading many of these high achieving students to say that they would like to return to the state after their college ed education is completed. Please join me in congratulating, congratulating Jessica. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be included with this extraordinary class. Thank you, Jessica. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, we have Kevin Pollock. Kevin is a 2014 graduate of Shepherd University with a bachelor's degree in history. He currently serves 
as the Director of Education for the Mosey Heritage Area Association, as well as the Certified Battlefield Guide at Antietam National Battlefield and Harpers Ferry National Historic Park. He is on the Board of Directors for the Shepherdstown Battlefield Preservation Association, the Save Historic Antietam Foundation, and the Friends of the Balls Bluff Battlefield. Kevin is the youngest National Park Service Certified Antietam Battlefield Guide. He is a regular contributor to the Emerging Civil War online blog and his own Antietam Brigades blog. Kevin has authored several books, including Voices of the Maryland Campaign, Emerging Civil War Digital Shorts, Turning Points of the American Civil War, Engaging the Civil War, with several other authors, Antietam, National Battlefield Images of America, To Hazard All, A Guide to the Maryland Campaign, 1862 Emerging Civil War Series with Robert Orison and Shepherdstown in the Civil War, One Vast Confederate Hospital Civil War Series. Kevin has also made several appearances on the C-SPAN network. He is a site manager for the Bristow Station Battlefield Heritage Park with six videos in the C-SPAN video library. His first appearance was a 2017 speech as an author. In 2018, he posted three videos as the Director for Education in the Mosby Heritage Area Association. Please join me in congratulating Kevin. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for uh, this honor, and, and it's a great uh, pleasure to be a part of this class. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, it's been wonderful to get to see you all, and I'm glad that we could do this event virtually um, and help honor you in some small way. Um, Jim or President Hendricks, would you like to add any last words? There you go. President? Yes, thank you. Thanks, Jim. Ladies first, still. Um, so, I, so I just <laughs> wanna say, um, although we're disappointed that we can't get together in person, I promise you, as soon as the COVID-19 vaccine comes out, we really want to have a big party with all of you, okay? Just remember that. And it's something to look forward to and celebrate. What you have done in your individual careers has really advanced the reputation of Shepherd University, and we really appreciate it. So thank you so much and stay connected. We have so many undergraduates right now coming through our system who can look up to each of you as respective role models. So thank you. Jim. Congratulations to all of you and to all of us as Shepherd Unit College and University graduates. It's important. And being recognized by the alumni, alumni Association is important because now it's your responsibility to keep and to keep us moving forward as a university and alumni association. We're going through some trying times here and we need to continue to hold ourselves together and work towards the eventual coming together as President Hendricks said, but please, please do not forget about where you came from, Shepherd University, and how important our alumni association is. Everybody's behind you. Shepherd alums do stick together, and you can tell that, you know that. People love Shepherd University, we love you and you're important to us. And we do want you to succeed. So thank you again for being here with us this evening. Thanks. Yes, thank you and congratulations all. Before we end this call, I would love to have our awardees hold up their plaques and I will take a screenshot for our um, records to live on in Alumni Association history forever. Hold them up high, a little bit higher, right next to your face. And one, two, three, got it. Thank you all for coming. Thank you to everybody who joined us on um, Facebook Live to watch this award ceremony. Um, and I will reiterate what 
President Hendricks and Jim said, hopefully by spring or next fall, we will be able to get together and celebrate more thoroughly. Um, hope you all have a wonderful night and Shepherd students succeed. Good night, everybody. Thank you.